once a giant, always a giant. For me, it's only a giant. So check it out. The D6 Squad has merch now. We got hoodies, tees, mugs, whatever you need. Check it out. Link in the description. On YouTube, 3546. I'm going to take a look at the run defense for the Giants. They've been pretty much the same issues all year. Uh, teams just haven't, for some reason, attacked these issues. Lamar Jackson is a running threat, a serious running threat against every team that he plays against. He's probably the best running quarterback of all time, being completely honest with you. But the Giants have struggled on the edges of their defense just because they lack depth at the outside linebacker position. Kyler Fackrell was out. They got rid of Marcus Golden, who was an excellent run defender at that spot. Uh, they lost Lorenzo Carter for the season, and they lost Zimenez. And he wasn't necessarily a run defender, but just the potential of him developing into one is gone. And I would say our best two run defenders were Lorenzo Carter and Marcus Golden, with Kyler Fackrell being in third place, and all three of them aren't there. So you can expect to see things like this. So this first play is a Lamar Jackson run. The middle of our line pretty much held up. They didn't get pushed back. They were they had to play in case he handed the ball off to J.K. Dobbins. He's going to run the option here. And this play pretty much happens because he's running the option. Lamar Jackson right now is reading this guy. He's reading Carter Coughlin. Pretty sure this is Carter Coughlin. And Coughlin stays, which means you usually would just hand the ball off. But the Ravens actually have their two offensive linemen pulling over here, and he's just going to get blocked. He's trying to make sure that he hands the ball off, uh, Carter Coughlin is, but at this point it's too late because he's let the play develop, and it's blocked up. Dexter Lawrence and Leonard Williams aren't necessarily getting pushed around, but everyone's got a hat on a hat, and they've got the double team with Dexter Lawrence. Carter Coughlin gets washed, and then at that point, he just gets to run behind his 330-pound offensive tackle. And Blake Martinez is playing about 10 yards off the line of scrimmage because we've been playing a, a soft zone pretty much most of the day, so... That's just what you get. Lamar Jackson in the open field, and then it's just follow the offensive lineman, make a move, and you get 20 yards out of it. So that inside linebacker position beside Blake Martinez is still a concern. We thought that Tay Crowder was the solution, but since he's come back from that injury, he has not been the same kind of impact, solid, aggressive player that he was before. And it just shows up here. As you'll see, the initial run defense for this stretch is going to be there. You're going to have Mark Andrews blocking the backside, and everything is pretty much there. You're going to see Dalvin Thomas and bench press this guy, get him off of him. This is shut down at this point. Tay Crowder, what he needs to do is just set his feet and just make sure that he does not cut back. That he's, he's the cutback guy, and he lets him cut back. This gap is 100% his responsibility. And he gets aggressive, he over pursues, and he just makes a miss. And at that point, you got to spin, and no one's able to run him down. Everybody's out of position because Tay Crowder missed the tackle. Jabril Peppers doesn't do the best job of keeping contained, but I mean, you don't really expect the guy to spin out like that, and he's just going to get the edge. And I thought that that was a touchdown. They said that that was. He was down at the, the two-yard line, but looked like a touchdown at first. I think uh, he ended up actually being short. Now, in this play, again, Tay Crowder lined up beside Blake Martinez down at the bottom of your screen, number 48, right in the middle of your screen, actually. The run defense is pretty solid as, as far as the defensive line goes. Blake Martinez occupies his guy, and Tay Crowder is confused on which hole to take. And he ends up in the same gap. Is Martinez, they trip over each other, and he's he's actively blocking Blake Martinez. He's blocking him. He he did a great job blocking him out of the play, and Gus Edwards is down the right side. Now let's watch this again. Dexter Lawrence double team. They do a great job of making sure they don't give up any like the defensive line isn't going backwards at all. They they haven't been pushed back at all. 
And it's just about these linebackers. You see Jabal Shears is getting blocked down, blocked down this way. And this guy is going to be one-on-one -on -one with this linebacker. But what needs to happen right now is Blake Martinez needs to be able to swoop around here. And he'll eat up this block. And then Ted Crowder can either play the cutback right here or kind of follow him to the sideline. And Martinez isn't able to get off quick enough. And Tate Crowder, instead of taking the outside lane, ends up just following Martinez. And it just gets jumbled up. And at that point, you're, you're blocking your own guy out of making this tackle. So for this play, they're going to run towards Isaac Yadam. And our corners, for the most part this year, have been at least decent at slowing down runners and allowing people to come up and gain tackle, if not just making open field tackles. And Isaac Yadam is not able to do this. And he did this a couple of times this game. And he just misses the tackle. So they're gonna run, they're gonna run right at him. He makes the lineman miss. Great job. And this should be a tackle for loss. But when you don't make tackles in the NFL, that's how you give up a first down. That goes from a negative play to a first down. Let's watch it from the second angle. So you don't see Yadam on the screen now, but they're going to run right at him, like I said. Go right at him. The lineman can't block him. He does his job as a DB, making him miss. And you just miss the tackle. So the Giants just have to clean up missed tackles. They've got to clean up uh, gap assignments. they got to clean up uh, for their contained defenders to being disciplined in their contained and it's just all fundamental things. Blake Martinez stepping on Logan Ryan's feet. It, there's a ton of things that I expect to be better as far as whoever they're playing against. But the, the same things do remain. They need a second linebacker next to Blake Martinez. Not as much as they need receiver help. Um, and they do need that outside linebacker run stopping presence, which I believe that Lorenzo Carter uh, can definitely help day one with, but they probably could use a little bit more help there too. So for this final play, I'm going to show you all, sometimes you just have a bad day. And today it seemed like they were having a bad day. Tate Crowder's in the wrong gap. Tate Crowder's missing tackles. McKinney missed some tackles. I think Logan Ryan missed some tackles. Peppers, everybody. All of our, our guys that usually come up and make solid tackles, they were missing tackles today. And this is just more evidence that we were having a bad day. We pretty much, again, the defensive line, Leonard Williams is tries to shed, and he ends up getting stonewalled. But again, look at Dalvin Thompson in the backfield. There's there's at least one of these three guys, 94, 97, 99, that's usually getting penetration. The defensive line almost never gets pushed back. Martinez, you want at this point to attack and just shoot through this hole, which he doesn't. But I can understand he doesn't want to over pursue. And then at the very least, you have a guy keeping contained with Logan Ryan on the outside. And guess what? Look at Martinez's shoe right on top of, Bla of Logan Ryan's foot. So he's going to trip. You have no one keeping contained. And that's how you give up big run plays. You got your edge contained defender falling. You're going to give up a big run. And by the time it looks like Jabril Peppers here notices that he's even that they're even running the ball. It's too late. And it doesn't help too that McKinney gets turned around here. And look at Leonard Williams. Pay this man. Why is he the only one that like he's he's up the field before let, let's look at this. Leonard Williams goes from engaged in a block to out of the play, and then he's just gonna run it down. Now, he didn't make the tackle, but that, that's something that you notice on tape. But we don't want to see people getting turned around like this. McKinney is attacking, and he takes a bad angle. And at that point, he's you, you got to do better than that. <laughs> I, I made my film sessions on him. I usually like what he does, but this game, he took some bad angles. He missed a couple of tackles, and uh, hopefully he can bounce back from that. But you have someone falling down. And then your one of your safeties gets turned around. You're going to give up a lot of big runs, and that's what we did. We had people taking the wrong gaps. We had people getting turned around like this, and we just had people being indecisive and hesitating. 
And this team is so dynamic in the run game, especially when you include Lamar Jackson. You cannot hesitate. You got to be aggressive. And you got to hit them early and often or they're going to just stay at the run. So I look for Dallas to use Tony Pollard and even use Ezekiel Elliott and attack the edges of this defense and see if they can stop it. If the Giants are able to stop it, they'll be able to limit Dallas's running game. If not, then we're going to see more of the same until we can get some outside linebackers that can step up and do a better job, as well as the inside linebackers, at stopping these runs from getting to the next level. The defensive line is usually doing their job, but they can only do so much. So if you made it this deep into the video, I'm calling you a D6 squad member. If you're a D6 squad member, you got to hit that subscribe button. You got to turn on that notification bell. And listen, I make all kinds of content for NFL teams. So if you're not a Giants fan, don't worry. I'll cover your team. If I'm not covering your team, let me know and have a good one.